Hello, hello, and welcome to my kitchen. My name is Kat Owens, and I am an independent consultant for Pampered Chef. Um, I'm so glad that you're here. So we're going to get right into it. Um, I am a person that likes to reuse things in the kitchen because that's a smart way to do. And last night I had mashed potatoes. So today we're going to be making, with those leftover mashed potatoes, stuffed hot dogs. Have you ever heard of that? This is one of our family favorites. So let's go ahead and get started in making this. Okay, I've already re reheated my mashed potatoes. You can use instant. The faster the better, right? The best way to make instant mashed potatoes is to add a little bit of sour cream and I added uh, Philadelphia cream cheese jalapeno. Also, if you want to make your hot dogs fancy, you can put the leftover mashed potatoes in a Ziploc bag and snip off the end, but I have a pipette bag with a little doodle that I, because I'm always baking. So we are going to go ahead and put some of this, which you can do in your Ziploc bag also, is put some of these potatoes in the bag. Oh, okay. Stuff that in there. And put all of that in there. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, so that is ready to go. Made a little mess here. Stuff that in there. Now we're going to set that to the side. Then what we're going to do, you take your beef hot dogs. And what we are going to do is slice the hot dog right up the middle. Ouch. <laughs> and what you're going to do is not cut it all the way through. You want it to... Uh, be almost to the end where you're going to see the the middle is still connected and then we are going to put those babies on a pan set your oven to 400 degrees cut, uh, cut open the hot dog like this your kids are going to love you okay pampered chef paring knife is a great utility knife it always is wonderful to use for all kinds of goodies of cutting in the kitchen. So, I'm constantly washing my hands. So what we're going to do is we are just going to fancy this up and I'm going to use my pipette bag and twirl it around. And what you're going to do is just twirl it around on each hot dog. Your kids are going to think that this is super fancy because it looks that way. And you're going to make it look like a star or you can make it look like circles. Make sure when you heat up your potatoes that you're not going to burn yourself. So you always make them look smooth. And this is such a fun meal for all your kids. They can definitely be helping you in the kitchen with these. Fill those suckers up however uh, much that you want to. I'm going to add, at the very end of these, you're going to put these on 400 degrees for about 15 minutes. I mean, what dinner can be super faster than leftover mashed potatoes and I still have leftover mashed potatoes which I'm gonna make potato fritters with those which I will show you in that also have some bacon bits so we can put that over the top of these and your kids can help they're probably gonna be eating all of those put jalapenos on the top uh, you can put a little bit of onions on the top and what I have decided I would be a little bit different because Pampered Chef has a new seasoning out which I'm 
definitely want to be trying, and that is the everything but the pizza. Who likes bacon on their pizza? Well, I decided um, that I wanted to go ahead and try a couple of this seasoning. And at the end, we're going to add the cheese. So maybe this is going to be like a pizza hot dog. Isn't that great? And we're going to have sharp cheddar cheese, which we'll put at the end. And we're going to go ahead and stick this in the oven and see how it turns out. Be right back. I'm such in a hurry, I forgot to show you what it looks like before. <laughs> okay, now I'll be right back. Hello, hello again. It's time to take out these yummy stuffed hot dogs. have one more step to go which is not going to take very long at all so you can see how yummy these look make sure I don't burn myself we're going to be adding cheese to these yummy delights your kids are going to love them let's go ahead and we are going to be sprinkling all kinds of cheese all over the place you know what's good is when you put cheese on the on the pan you're gonna get crispy cheese and you can add those to the top also who doesn't like crispy so we're gonna add I like to add those so we can have crispy on the top just keep adding however much cheese that you like and we're gonna do that then we are going to put this back into, sorry about that, back into the oven and then take them out in just about a couple minutes. Okay, guess what? It's time to take out the stuffed hot dogs out of the oven. Let's go. have to put them down you know what all this inside where the cheese has melted on the bottom you can wait a little bit till it gets a little bit crispy put it over the top oh 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 does not like crispy cheese let's check take, take a look at this look, 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 look. oh my gosh these are your leftover hot dogs and mashed potatoes your family is going to think man we are getting something special but you know what it's always good to spend a little extra time on your family because you know what they are special they are your constant and they will always be there for you so thank you for joining me cat owens in my kitchen i'm so glad that you get to use up those leftover um, food in your refrigerator. Bye now.